A conflict's been going on in the tech world for years, and it's between two groups. One group wants to take devices and make them as big as possible so they can cram them full of all kinds of features. But then on the other side, you have a group that wants to take those same devices and make them as small as possible while still holding on to as many of those features as they can so that they can compete with the bigger devices. And microphones are no different to laptops, phones, lights, cameras, you name it. And the mini shotgun mic that I have for you today just might be able to compete with the big boys. Hey y'all, I'm Millage Austin. Thanks for checking out my channel. The microphone that I have for you today that I mentioned in the intro is actually the third microphone that I have purchased from Seven Rhymes. But unlike the previous two that were wireless mics, this one is a mini shotgun mic. Specifically, this is the Minbo Mini. Just look at how small this thing is. It measures two and a half inches long by an inch and a half tall by only half an inch wide. And when you compare it to my Deity V-Mic D3, the size comparison is astounding. But the cool thing is, this little mic will surprise you in more ways than one. But first, let's let the mics do the talking and I'm gonna let you hear a comparison between the Seven Rhymes Minbo Mini, the Deity V-Mic D3, and the internal audio of my Canon R. This should give us a bit of a benchmark for being able to tell the difference between the internal audio because there is no mic currently on the Canon R. This is just internal audio, but I'm gonna be using the Seven Rhymes Minbo Mini. Look how tiny it is, so little versus the Deity V-Mic D3. So I just wanna see how things sound compared the, between the three mics. This is now with the Seven Rhymes Minbo Mini up on top. I'm still holding the Deity mic, the V-Mic D3 here in my hand. And I am roughly a foot and a half, two feet away from this mic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda of keep talking and we'll just see how it sounds as I back up a little bit. Um, you probably wouldn't normally uh, have a shotgun mic for talking this far away but I just wanted to kind of give a benchmark. I mean, you know, I've kind of moved several paces away. So this is what it sounds like on the seven rhymes as I get closer, talking one, two, three, one, two, three. And now this is with the deity. This is roughly where I was standing earlier when I had the seven rhymes on and when I was doing the internal audio of the R. I realized I didn't back up as I was using the R, but that's because the internal mic doesn't pick up uh, nearly as well as say a shotgun mic should. The seven rhymes doesn't come out past the mic, but this, or past the lens, but the, the Deity mic does. It comes out, especially with the dead cat on it. But now I'm going to keep talking as I back up a little bit. One, two, three, one, two, three. This is what the Deity sounds like at about the same distance as I was backing up to earlier. Again, these are not necessarily meant for these conditions with a little bit of wind and to get good, good audio unless you're right up on them. So I'm going to come back into the Deity. And so this is what the Deity has sounded like for our benchmarks.
I'm really excited to see how this sounds and how it compares. So this has been with the Seven Rhymes. Now I'm gonna try vlogging a little bit with the Deity and again with just the Canon R's stock microphones. All right, and this is what it would be like vlogging with just the built-in microphone on the Canon R. So I am going to continue talking and this is if you, you know, you can't afford a $50 mic, $100 mic, however much it is. Um, and if this is what you were going for and you decided to spend your money elsewhere, this is kind of what it would sound like. I think the Seven Rhymes might be the way to go, especially when I go out to Vegas, when I go to Charlotte, and when I go, especially when I go kayaking, because the lower profile and not having to worry about making sure that the battery is charged are really going to help that case. So I'm curious what the, the audio sounds like compared to the built-in audio on the Canon and the Seven Rhyme. There were two big takeaways for me. Number one is I was actually really surprised at how well the internal mic on the Canon R did. Aside from not having a windscreen and you being able to really hear it when the wind picked up, I was really impressed with the quality of audio that came right out of the camera body. But the other thing was that this little $30 mic, that's right, this thing is only $30. This was able to keep up really, really well with a $100 V-Mic D3 from Deity. But before we get into a few more of the comparisons, what do you get for $30? Well, first off, you obviously get the shotgun mic. You get this very nice carrying pouch that has the Seven Rhymes logo right there. And inside that is a little windscreen, and this fits very nice over the shotgun mic. There we go, just like that. And you also get your two cables. You get a TRS to TRS cable, as well as a TRS to TRRS cable. But as far as comparisons go, I feel that the Seven Rhymes Minbo Mini really held its own against the Deity V Mic D3, even though it's at a clear disadvantage in one main area. And that's the distance that it gets from your mount. A couple YouTubers that I follow talk about how their mic is just out of frame so that it is the shortest distance from their mouth to get the best quality audio. So when this is on the top of my R, it already sticks out that much farther. Whereas when this is on top of the R, it is that much further away from my mouth. So naturally the Deity is gonna sound a little bit louder, a little bit clearer, but this still did a great job. And this has two major advantages outside of the price working for it. Number one is the size, obviously, and that's why we're talking about it, is this is such a small package that I can throw it into this little bag with everything that I need and throw this into my camera bag, and it weighs next to nothing, whereas when I'm traveling with this, I'm really worried about where I put it exactly in my bag, I'm worried about a little bit more of the size, but then I'm also worried about the battery that I have to put in it. This takes a AAA battery inside there, and it's got a little power button right there on the back. And I have actually had a couple videos go wrong where I didn't pay attention to the little green light that can light up on the back telling me that the battery is working. It doesn't pull any power from the camera. And when I went back later, I had no audio. It was just me. Whereas something like the Minbo Mini, has no battery. All it has is the little output jack on the back and it pulls whatever power it needs to from the camera and it gets great audio. I've actually been using this for several weeks now, getting the background audio of the shed build that my wife, my father-in-law and I have been working on. And I have been just so impressed with the quality that I've been able to get out of this. I've even hooked this up to the uh, VW30 and I've had this pointed at one area and I've had the, D, uh, the Deity pointed at another and I've done internal recording. So that's been kind of fun too. But for the price, for the size, I have just been so blown away. And the main reason why I got this was I have several trips going on this year. I'm going to Vegas and Charlotte and some other places and I really wanna maximize will minimize the amount of space that I take up in my camera bag. And while this doesn't take up a whole lot of space, I am able to get creative with where I put it. Having this little pouch and this inside just makes it that much better. And if I can still get good quality audio while vlogging, while uh, getting whatever B-roll I need, 
then count me in. And again, this is only $30, whereas this cost me $100. But what camp are you a part of? Are you of the mindset of, I want the biggest device possible. I want my cell phone to be the size of a tablet. Or are you more of, I want everything to be as small as possible. I want them to fit in my pockets. I wanna forget that I have them on me. Love to hear what your thoughts are on that. I'd love to hear what your thoughts were on how the seven rhymes stacked up against the deity and against the canon are. Let me know down in the comments. And as always, if you like this video, please hit the like button. I greatly appreciate it and I will catch you in another video.